And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, yeah. Hey, campers. It's The Bonfire. I'm your host, Big J. Okerson. That handsome gentleman is Dan Soder. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. Guys, so you take a shot. Hey, everybody. What's up, burnouts? It's The Bonfire. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That life partner of mine across the way you know what <laughs> a bad all right ready let's go again okay ready hey campers hey <laughs> burnouts what do we use i don't know i think it's down to those two though i think it is too i was gonna say embers is close third but the caller people are embers <laughs> yeah, has, yeah are, it feels like i should be stroking their faces you're my ember <laughs> You. you are my life force. You. Are, yeah, it's some Game of Thrones shit. The Red Witch. You <laughs> the are embers, my... The, the embers burn. Bonds. We're in a... I call this our satellite studio. We're a show without a home. You're damn We're right. looking for a home. Mercenaries. Like, An- <laughs> like Andy's face. But if you can find us... We might be able to provide two hours of stoner talk. We are clearly the D-team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um... What's up, buddy? We've had a long day together. Dude, we've had a great day. We did a photo shoot. Mm-hmm. We were very sensual. You looked so good. You looked so good. We did the box cover. We had makeup. <laughs> yeah. We had uh, Soda got his shirt steamed. Yeah, that was... I felt like a diva. <laughs> Is there a steamer here? Yeah. And can one of you bitches take care of that for me? <laughs> one of you peons <laughs> decide to make my shirt smooth. Mr. Soda, what seems to be the problem? I'll tell you the Don't problem. Don't look at me! Yeah. There's wrinkles on my fucking shirt. Yeah, I don't know. Am I wearing a Sharpay? <laughs> a slapper? I said, am I wearing a Sharpay? Because this has yes, wrinkles Yes, I it. did carry it here in my pocket. But that is your problem now. <laughs> I've put the sleeves in another room. Find them. Using these clues. <laughs> the number here, 844-COMEDY-9. That's 844-266-3399 if... Uh, you're on a phone with the scratched off letters. <laughs> <laughs> if you're on a burner phone. <laughs> you're on a burner phone that doesn't have the letters that correlate with which number it is. Uh, uh, yeah, we have full capabilities in here. We've never done a live from this office. This is where we do the out of town shows. Yeah, this is where we just, we know So honestly, I feel like I'm playing with house money at this point. I feel like we <laughs> can tell Lou the Bloodhound to stop down everything. <laughs> it's such a, I wish we could paint the picture of the environment though. It's there's like, there's boxes for moving. Yeah. To your right, a picture of Gilbert Gottfried. I feel like those kids who are like, I'm going to sleep in my room, even though your family's moved into a new house. Whoever uh, Jason Sherbert is needs to pick up this fucking Sirius XM unit because it's been sitting there with that goddamn post note on it for eight months. It's even... Pick it up. Take it or don't. This is how old it is. It's just Sirius. It's not even XM. (laughs) It doesn't even have the XM capabilities. That's why that shit's been sitting. There's Nintendo. We this place is lost in time. Yeah, this is uh, like an attic. This is <laughs> they have us in the attic. I feel like Doctor Johnny Fever. <laughs> <laughs> Just two record players in front of me. <laughs> Hello out there, America. It's Doctor Johnny Fever. The doctor is in. We found out we're gonna have a billboard in Los Angeles. No shit. That's crazy. Right on La Cienega and Sunset. Fancy talk. Our dumb faces. <laughs> no, you know they're going to pick a bad one. Oh, uh, yeah. They're not going to pick a good one. Dude. Uh, I love the shit we eat for the, for the billboard, but the reality is, that, I mean, there were so many pictures in that set of pictures we liked, and we said these are great. Yeah. And then they just, I, I'm almost certain they picked the one that we said, yeah, just not that one. Like they Facebook. And they thought we were picking that one, maybe. It, it's like whoever chose the picture of Facebook to someone that you hated or hates you. <laughs> And they're like, you pick a picture. And they're like, what about this one? We were smirking like assholes. Hey, where'd you get a picture of me shirtless sitting down? <laughs> yeah. Did you uh, have my house bugged? Because I feel like these are pretty private. Why is this billboard a picture of me getting out of a pool? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Awkwardly one leg up on the concrete. Is that me taking a tired nap on my couch <laughs> with my jaw half cocked on the pillow and drooling? That's a terrible picture. Is that my old stepbrother's cock on my forehead? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. They, uh, during the photo shoot today... I loved every time we swatted them down, every time they were like, hey, guys, give us the smirk. They're oh, like, no. give us the smirk. Right? The smirk. Is yeah. that what it's become? Yeah. Oh. The stroke smirk. We, no one was ever like, that's a great picture. I don't know why I was picked, because no one ever liked it. I've heard a bunch of good names, terrible pictures. I've heard a bunch of terrible names, terrible pictures. Yeah, Never heard no- a good picture, <laughs> terrible name. Yeah, no one, no one's been kind and to the picture. And we have very honest friends. Oh, yeah. So we know if it was a good picture, it would have meant something, but it doesn't. But not even friends, just people on 
Oh, the social media beating we took was. <laughs> and from OB, like every show I've been on, they're like, that's sh- that fucking picture. It's a so- bad one. I don't know why that was picked. There were so many good ones. And we took those the day of my roast. What a great roast. It was a good time. It's on YouTube, right? It is indeed on YouTube. You can watch no me. shit. You can watch me wear a shirt without sleeves for the first time since ninth grade football practice. No sleeves? No sleeves, bro. What do you mean? I never wore a shirt without sleeves. A button-down shirt? No, I'm talking about like a cutoff shirt. Did you wear one? Yeah, bro. In those pictures? On the roast, during the roast. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when I right. roasted you. Did you. The, that's right, you did the thing. I wore I a shoulderless it. shirt. Uh, it's, it was very it's revealing. For Comedy me. Central said they might be uh, giving me bonfire shirts to give out an oddball in the second half of oddball. Can I have one? And Of course. <laughs> but you. I think I'm going to have them change what they were going to do. They go, yeah, you know, in honor, because it's going to be like your thing, like your shirt you're giving out. They're going to be, it's going to be sleeveless t-shirts for dudes. I'm like, is that what I'm known for? So <laughs> goes, do you guys come to my house in the morning before I take a shower? I mean, I sleep in a sleeveless t-shirt. So I'm like, why am I known for having sleep? I don't wear sleeveless t-shirts. They only I see used you, to. They only see you when you're taking out garbage. Yeah. I, you know, it's funny. I used to. And then Bill Burr, one time I wore a sleeveless t-shirt. We went to a OzFest one year. Yeah. The Iron Maiden uh, Black Sabbath one. Oh. And uh, on the way there, I was just talking about something. He just goes, shut up, Jay. I'm sick of hearing you and your fucking dice clay arms talking. <laughs> I, mean, I was like, oh, that was not a compliment. Uh, that one stung because it was real. <laughs> <laughs> I have matronly arms for a man. Yeah, I got a... Uh... I think my arms are okay now, but I still don't wear sleeveless t-shirts. Oh, man. And they're probably not okay either. <laughs> Whenever I see a guy with good shoulders, I'm like, hey, man, good for you. I got nice round shoulders. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. That's all those... I do a lot of shrugs. <laughs> Just, not in the weight room. I just shrug a lot at home. Like, nah, I don't know. You're very you pa- hungry. Nah. You're passive I'm about right, everything. I'm so passive that my fucking nah. what's that called? Your uh, my lats are fucking jacked. You seen Jay's? My little, traps. Yeah, Jay's got the biggest traps from just not really caring. <laughs> he's, he's like Goldberg's. He's bad at decision making. You do that <laughs> face, but then it's just really it's uh-huh. just a maybe. Ah, yeah. You want to watch porn or do a puzzle? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just shooting sparks at you. <laughs> <laughs> Every decision comes out like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always jealous of guys that, and your stepdad was a power lifter, that wear the, the bodybuilder tanks where it's just like the string. <sighs> The string. They're like they're like tied at the top like a sexy yeah. chick, yeah. like like some you'd buy at a beach, uh, a surf shop on yeah. the be- on the boardwalk. A Ron John, <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice Ron John tank top. Oh uh, shit! Either that or my step pop wears like crazy oversized shit. His shirt. Oh, because but then they have it scoop cut out. I, so you're checking. No, he's not. We- no, he's not wearing a Buttafuco like oh, Gold's Jimmer. Dude, what a what a. Honestly, and I mean this, what a comfortable outfit Joey Buttafuoco wore. <laughs> you live your life in pajamas. Yeah. That guy's more comfortable than Hef. Yeah. And, he's banging a, and he's banging a homicidal maniac. Uh, he's got some crazy side chick <laughs> and, a, and a main one that could take a shot. She loves it. Every night she goes to bed wearing his, uh, she, he probably gave her his chain that has the horn on it. Yeah. And she a wears gold horn. His scooped out sweatshirt with her shoulder through it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I squirted my pillow with Dracar, so it's like you're here. <laughs> I want to go so fast in your IROC Z. I bet we have people listening who know Joey Buttafuoco and can confirm what a dildo he is. Would it be great if his brother, like Steve Buttafuoco, called in? He's like, he's actually a pretty good dude. I'm not going to lie, you guys caught him on a real casual day. <laughs> Guy made mistakes. Snappy dresser. <laughs> Always wear smart suits. Um, no, the, no, that, not that. Look, my stepfather wears, like, just giant. He's not a huge guy at mm-hmm. all. Joe's not a big, big guy, and he wears, like, 3X, 4X T-shirts sometimes. Or it's either that, or he comes out dressed, it looks like his shirt, like, snaps between his legs. <laughs> <laughs> like a unitard. That's what's Are you wearing a unitard? Yeah. Are you about to wrestle? Like, Sorry, I came from ballet. I'm either super tight or super loose. <laughs> Nowhere in the middle. Yeah, bodybuilders, they have, like, the greatest. They wear the clothes that I wish I could wear. No, you sure. don't. Dude, they look so comfortable. Pleated jeans? You don't want to wear that. No, with no. a little belt with the metal tip on the belt that you put up and through. I'm not talking about bodybuilder formal. I'm talking oh, about... Oh, sorry. I'm talking about bodybuilder casual. Gotcha, gotcha. I'm yeah, formal about, it almost looks uncomfortable. Very tight waist, flowing legs. Oh, fucking fanny pack. I love fanny pack. Who's going to shit on you for wearing a fanny pack? Not when you're in bodybuilder gear. Not when you look like that. When you're a mountain of a man. So weird. Bodybuilders sometimes aren't that strong and also are uh, 
not very good athletes, oh, terrible cardio. All you that hear stuff. that, bodybuilders? Jay's calling you yeah. out. Yeah. Foot race, <laughs> Franco Palumbo. I'm trying, oh, I have names from when I was a kid. My stepfather was into it. <laughs> Mr. Olympia. Franco <laughs> Palumbo. Mr. Olympia, 1981. I love watching you at 6 a.m. on ESPN <laughs> when, you, when you do obscure tricep Take lifts. Take that, young Lou Ferrigno. Yeah, I know all the strongmen, like Magnus for Magnuson. Oh, he was the best. Yeah. The strongman competitions where they was like, the most ridiculous things. Like, Lift a log. How do you train for that at home? Like, can you throw a beer keg over a wall? It was all stuff that clearly people did in Finland. <laughs> can you pull an engineless truck? Yeah, it was the Finnish way of them trying to sneak into a sport where they're like, how about we lift all this crazy stuff? It really like, is. Remember, we like, put boulders on ledges. <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite one. The best of the whole entire strongman competition were the wives of the strongmen. You want to see a, all fun. You want to see a yeah. down? You want to see a down ass bitch? <laughs> Some lady from Iowa just screaming at her steroided up husband's face. Lift the truck, and he's like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> his veins popping out. Ah! She's like, do it. I'm talking about the American strongman wives. If you do it, it. Johan. There's those. But oh, then, you know, come home. There's like a nice Minnesota housewife just screaming at him. Lift the truck. He's like, ah. It's fucking great. <laughs> you missed all our kids' plays. You better lift that fucking <laughs> truck. Our son doesn't believe that you're his father. You better because get these boulders on this pole. Why? Because during his bar mitzvah, you were out in the thing flipping beer kegs over the house. Because <laughs> you were betting the service staff you could throw it <laughs> higher than them. Yeah, that's... uh, <laughs> Those competition shows, though, I get wrapped, wrapped into those sometimes. I, uh, You seen American Guy won American Ninja Warrior. I didn't. It was a big deal. It's it's feats of physical activity that I could never yeah, it's dream way, of doing. It's the same way I look at like parkouring, where I'm like, oh, well, that's just... Parkouring is pretty ridiculous, but like the, the American Ninja Warrior, I mean, it's like you got to go like 20 yards like on your fingertips. <laughs> I mean, like hanging onto a ledge by your fingertips, and you have to jump across to another fingertip ledge. It's, in, it's insane. This guy did it. It almost looks like it's fake. But I wonder, like, you have, you have the guys run? You got to see this guy's run. It's great. I mean, it'd be you know, fun to be one of those guys' coworkers because then you can just start hiding their office supplies in crazy places and be like, go get it. He goes, dude, where's my stapler? He goes, air conditioning shaft, fifth floor. <laughs> <laughs> the only way up there is to run up the wall. Oh, and by the way, AC will be on. Full blast. <laughs> you have to make your way through that. Intricate system of traps I've set. Did you, who booby trapped my laptop? Like, <laughs> Don't get it, American Ninja. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Which, by the way, greatest. Every time I hear the name of what's the name of the show, Ninja Warrior. American Ninja Warrior. I always hear American Ninja, which was one of my favorite movie series. Starring. No, no idea. Guy Come with, on, guy with awesome hair. Michael Dudikoff, bro. That sounds like you made up a name to get out of a DUI. Lou. Well, of course, Lou Dog knows it. He's the blood I'm just telling Lou to look up. <laughs> Michael Dudikoff, who was also in Bachelor Party, weirdly enough. Really? Did you ever see Bachelor Party? With Hanks? He was the dipshit friend. You're talking about Chet Hayes' dad. Yes. I'm talking about a father of one Chet Hayes. <laughs> Chet Hayes Sr.? Michael fucking Dudikoff. Oh, dude, that is, what a great name for a guy that looks like that, too. And dude, type, type in Michael Dudikoff Bachelor Party. You can see it's the same dude. Dudikoff. <laughs> Dudikoff. It's the same Dudikoff. Do you think he fucked someone over in his life? It's not like... batch. Like a batch of jizz, you lunatic Lou. <laughs> it's not always Bing porn searches. Jacob just gripped his chair all tight. He's like, yeah, look, see? Yeah. Don't you knock Bing. Look at that, dude. The fucking American Ninja hanging out with Chet Hayes' <laughs> dad. Oh, wow. I, I'm not complaining, but I usually don't like my filth this clean. But a waste of two women. Dude, a cough. Wow. I like they're watching porn on a fucking... <laughs> Whatever he's hearing. A fucking reel-to-reel. Even in the 80s, that was pretty lame. Hey, you guys like, you guys don't have VHSs? You have a suite, and we don't have a V... Even a Betamax? There you go. It's like a commercial before. Let's all go to the lobby. <laughs> Let's all go to the lobby. And it's just the hot dog jumping into the bun over and over again. <laughs> Let's all go to the lobby. The mustard squirts everywhere. It's a... Dick's all hard. <laughs> Dude, I was laughing so hard today at the photo shoot when we were doing more Disney War. Uh, we have fuck. to put pl <laughs> platoon clips to fucking Disney thing. Please someone make that video. We know no, you're at work. Be, it'll be done by tonight. I'm so sure of it. We know you're at work right now and you're like, you know what? I'd love to make that video. A whole new world. 
to fucking <laughs> <laughs> a sweeping shot of Vietnam. The opening shot of the fucking Normandy. <laughs> yeah. Da, 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 da. Instead of that, it could be uh, a whole new world. That was making me I laugh. This keeps coming up in my life for some reason. This fish magna ball, as we're looking on YouTube here, it's just one of the related videos for some reason. Um, Mike Fenoya, our friend, has that shirt. He went to that. Uh, fish. I saw a guy yesterday. That, yeah, uh, he said he's so excited from coming here to MSG on New Year's. I, I can't. I'm, I'm going to force myself to try to give a shit. You're going to go to fish? No, I don't, probably not. I mean, I probably won't be able to. He, uh, he, uh, honestly. He kind of lobbed it out there. If I, I was, would check it out. If I got stoned enough, I would check it out. I could check out almost anything. We were at your house hanging out. My first was... concert was Sean Anna. Really? So I could do anything after that. You were broken in right. Fuck yeah, Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, On to hand job, baby. Fenoya floated it if I would have any interest, and I shut that shit down immediately. It was pretty crazy how fast you shut it down. Yeah. He was like, hey, man, you, uh, would you be interested in seeing Fish? Like, nope. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you don't like him? He's like, I don't know. So they're fine. <laughs> like, yeah. He's like, you hate fish? Like, no, I don't hate fish. Yeah. I told him, I was like, I just don't want to watch a guy noodle on his guitar for four hours. would <laughs> <laughs> rather fucking take a nap and beat, <laughs> rather beat Arkham Knight on PlayStation 4. And Merc Face Andy's getting so upset. Are you a fish head? Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah, he was actually doing, my, uh, Merc Face was doing the podcast with Fenoya. Is that what you listen to to stop the nightmares of you killing innocent civilians when you're a mercenary? <laughs> How many? You've been to a, Merc Face Andy's been to 198 shows times seven hours per show. Oh man, how That's many? What? How many bended C chords did you? <laughs> how many bended A chords did you want to walk out of? <laughs> wow, 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 wow. By the way, guys, that 15 minute song, it's a 37 minute song. <laughs> go check your parking. Trey's gonna go have a shit and yeah. then come back, and we're gonna finish this bitch up. Trey just remembered he's got some college loans he hasn't taken care of. So he's gonna go through the very intricate process of setting up an online payment system, with Sally Mae. So here's our uh, third guitarist just hitting the whammy bar for 10 minutes. That's like uh, Joe the Rosie's trying to be like, no, oh, dude. Zappa. You gotta listen to Frank Zappa. I go, yeah, God. I have listened to Frank Zappa. It's what happens in between the dials of when you're turning a, a, a radio station. <laughs> when I'm lost in a new city. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Frank Zappa. And we're gone. Is that my father from the past <laughs> talking to me? Oh, don't turn left. <laughs> yeah, dude, I know. Fish fans take that shit seriously. I mean, Andy is literally upset that I've made fun of fish. He's red in the face. By the way, I told this to Fenoya, and I'll tell it right to your face. I had lunch two tables away from Trey Anastasio about two months ago, and I could tell you this, right eye to eye, didn't care. Could have been a banker. Fenoya... Bumped his table, didn't even apologize. Mark face, no bullshit. Fenoya almost fingered his own pussy. Yeah. Fenoya laid... He got so excited Fen when we told him Fenoya that. like rolled back in the chair, and I saw him lick just the tip of his finger, and he went, was he eating a salad? <laughs> <laughs> and I went, I mean, to start, and he went... Wait. <sighs> <laughs> he, did, he did an actual real fanboy thing. Where he was like... Like, where was it? You're like, oh, this little place called so-and-so. He's like, wait, wait, I'm writing it down. Like, it why? He's going to go stalk that place now? Get ready to have a delicious chocolate croissant <laughs> when you go, wait. That's a hint. <laughs> <laughs> now everyone's, all the fish fans. Be 198 shows. And you feel like everyone was just, you nailed it. No, oh, they all are different because they're all just... You're just fucking warming up for an actual show. Yeah, you're catching one long sound check. <laughs> I was saying, F Fish is the instrument tuners for an actual band. <laughs> yeah. That's what they, they play seven hour shows and they leave and Neil Diamond yeah. comes out and plays Holy a concert. <laughs> yeah. Neil Diamond was here the whole time. Finally. Ah, showing up at 12.30 p.m. did feel kind of funny. <laughs> I knew we should have looked into this. He's the best service noodling around. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm a diehard Queens of the Stone Age fan. They don't noodle. No, They're but tight. they do jam, and I get it. So I kind of get it, but then here's the deal. It's like kind of understanding something, and then they go way beyond that threshold. You like that, though? Would you also like to be punched and kicked when you fuck? I mean, you sound like a madman right now. <laughs> You're a masochist. <laughs> yeah, just like to get your balls stomped on by high heels. Because <laughs> I only have five minutes to listen to a song, but the song's 27 minutes. Ah, I want you to put on a long guitar solo <laughs> and put these cigarette butts out on my testicles. We sure as shit, man. Fenoy can, like, you could play whatever babbling jibber jabber is happening right now behind us. <laughs> they already, I promise you, they already know what it is. They're like, oh, man, that's... 
That's Possum Rock 47. They did that in Spokane. People for an hour. There's no reason to call them with fan names anymore. I think we've got. I think we're burnouts or campers. Burnouts or campers. Or burned so out campers. At this point, just uh, call in to uh, if you or you know put your votes online. For what burnouts is, or campers? Wants to ask Dan an EC. What the fuck does that mean? Will, EC, bro. Wants to ask you an Eck. <laughs> Will in New Jersey. Will and NJ. Hey. hey, buddy. How's it going? Good. How are you doing, dude? I'm good, man. I'm a big fan of both of you guys. I'm so happy you guys got your new show. It's awesome. Thanks, Thanks dude. Yeah, that Chet Hayes shit that you guys were talking about the other day was so funny, man. Hey, I just hope he's okay. <laughs> yeah, we still have no real confirmation he's all right. Hashtag find Chet. Uh, our, our, our thoughts and prayers are with him. I mean, really, they are. I heard rumors. Um, I heard rumors of Barstow, and I wish that on no man. I'm looking for a sophomore effort album. Oh, dude, I would love to. Hear, <laughs> I would love to hear an entire EP dedicated to taking putting the flames out of the bonfire. If he does pass away, though, we can make it. We can sponsor the album where we have a bunch of stars come and do play it. his music. We can get exhibit. And uh, we'll get a bunch of old, we'll get a bunch of David rock. Crosby, just uh, have some weird ones. Yeah, some real throwbacks. We're like, why? I have no affiliation with that. Jewel, we'll get Jewel to do a couple, to do stretch it out. <laughs> stretch it out. Stretch it out. But Will, I sound like an Alaskan chick. You did. You. I thought it was Jewel sitting across from you. Save. Will, what was your question? Uh, no question. I just wanted to uh, tell Jay that I hate the Eagles now that it's football season. Um, fair, fair mostly work. the fan base. They're awful. Oh, wow. Um, well, yeah. And I love you as a person, Jay. You're wonderful. But thanks. as a fan base, you guys are awful. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not like a fucking, you know, I'm not like a go punch somebody at the, uh, the stadium type guy. I, uh, but you I just are... root for him. But I am a big, I'm a diehard fan. But God damn. Is it just like, uh, that was deflating. Dude, I watched that. That first game was deflating. I watched that at a comedy club. Mm -hmm. And I was, all I could think of was, Jay's going to be so mad at two in the morning. Cause I knew you're, yeah, DVR, you're DVR on it. I was going to bed and I was like rubbing my shoulder in my pillow and I was like, Jay's probably pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Cause the Niners won 20 to three. So I was like, mm, we won. And Jay's mad. You're humping a, a bear with a, Fucking Joe Montana jersey. Yeah, on. <laughs> I got my Ronnie Lott jersey over my duvet cover, and I'm just fucking the shit out of it. Will, what are you, a Giants guy? Yeah, I'm a Giants guy, so I was in the same boat, man, Sunday night. That was fucking brutal. Yeah, but they looked better the whole game than the goddamn Eagles, at least. No. I, 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 o Odell Beckham, dude. I'm jealous of that guy. I'm jealous of you having that guy. I love his hair. Don't yeah, you, you know, I hair? said this to Christine. I'm as, as chickish as a thing it is to say. I like my athletes to be cool looking. He is cool. He's got like I couldn't be like no no one was ever like dude. You know my my biggest I'm a biggest fan of in the NBA Vladi Divac. Like that was never said. First off, fuck you, Floppy Divac was the best. No, he smoked a pack of Marlboro Lights I, a day. It was listen. And that's still not your favorite. No, guy from a came from a war torn country. Still not your favorite. No. He's too blocky. I love him. You're just feeling. I like a guy. That, you have Vladi Divac body. You're, you're right. He was my body model. My body image is. I'm a Robert Tractor Trailer Man myself. <laughs> Down on the low posts, coming out of Michigan. <laughs> I'm all ass. I'm all ass and back. Oh, dude, Vladi Divac. I like a basketball player that looks like he can score you a teen or a coke <laughs> pretty quickly. Hey, floppy, I need a couple. I need a couple lines. <laughs> I picture he was like in the locker room, just wearing like a very short robe. <laughs> yeah, I imagine him His dick hanging out, going home in a velour suit <laughs> with a woman with a lot of facial makeup, but also hey, in gym clothes. Oh, hello, baby. Baby, you play so well. Shut up, give me a cigarette. <laughs> he not pass me ball. He still lives in a shitty apartment building. I, I tell Chris Weber pass me ball. He not do that. Kobe <laughs> beat us again. The Kings, man. You were a Sixers fan at the, when they beat the Kings, and then beat the when the Lakers beat the Kings, then the Sixers. Yeah, it's one of my favorite teams of all time. The Sixers that two thousand. Yeah, I loved them. Did they you were, really? They were all Iverson. It was so it was I'm a Iverson, Nuggets fan. I'm a Nuggets. Iverson of four dudes. Yeah, four guys, like a mm. walk, like walk ons. Um. Oh wait, John in Denver, John Denver, country roads. What's up, John? How's it going, guys? Good. How, how you, you doing? What part of Denver are you in? Uh, like Castle Rock, it's just south of Denver. I know exactly where Castle Rock is. I'm from Aurora, dude. Oh, nice. Not really, but I didn't yeah. Know you were, uh, yeah, all right. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, hey, I want to tell you, 
I'm a huge fan of you guys, but I want to tell you that um, my girlfriend who went to University of Vermont, she used to babysit for Trey. Like she'd babysit uh, his kids? He's from Vermont? Yeah, of course he's from Vermont. How did you not? Thing. You really couldn't guess that Fisher's from Vermont? I'm going to guess there's a wide variety of sandals in his closet. Our first shows were no, played at the Ben and Jerry's factory. Uh, you know, we no. came a long way. We used to have just 20 pounds of grass mulch staring at us <laughs> when we were when I was just banging around on this neck of this guitar. So, is, so your girlfriend... Yeah, Harvest. We used to just plan our year around Harvest every year so we would get all the good weed. But, um... Yeah, she, she would babysit for him, and it was it was so huge up there, but I could never get into him, because just like you said, it's just one big sound check. <laughs> I, love that, that's how, I love that description of fish. One big but the, line, uh, I feel the lyrics of their songs are, hey, hey, check, hey, check, <laughs> yeah. one, two, hey, hey. Ron, are you getting this in the back? Hey, hey. Hey, hey, a little more reverb on that. Hey, hey, don't forget the merch booth is open. <laughs> They're out of mustard in kiosk five. Magical monitors, they are working. Everyone else is like, this is so deep. <laughs> These guys are sick. Dude, Trey goes from his soul and it just projects <laughs> out. He just comes yeah. over everybody with his sweet licks of freedom. Yep. Just laying yep. ropes of long-winded songs. We're all beams of light <laughs> until our Verizon bills are due. Oh man. You know who hates this song? My dad, who pays my rent. <laughs> <laughs> he hates it. You know it's more there. Yeah. So you, did you have to act like you were into it because your girlfriend babysat for Trey? Did you bone, or, did or, you bone her in front of the kid? Wow. No, you, I mean, you can't even fake it because every kid you meet up there like wants to trade like food, like tapes, but if you don't have any, you're kind of like an outcast in that group. So, oh. um, Really? Yeah. They really out, was, how, do they, how does someone as hippie and crunchy as them outcast you? No, well, it's, it's, it's awesome. You're not cool, dude. They're like the meatheads, like the... Like the different, like they're like the opposite of jocks, where it's like you know. Yeah, but they have that dickhead <laughs> attitude. Yeah, exactly. They're See that like, really? every every yeah. group can be mean. We're talking about fish heads here. Absolutely, I'm and they you. can be in inclusive and mean. It de depends when the idea swallows itself. Yes, and it becomes not about like I mean, how many Dave Matthews uh, concert goers are just like dying to hear. More Dave Matthews music. It's part of the things you go to. Like, oh, we're probably gonna get pussy. We're gonna just like the high, just so. like the parrot heads we saw. It, Jimmy Buffett. And I believe those fucking geezers love that music. Oh my god, they just get they just get hammered and slam their half hard fucking dicks and inner pussy. pirate comes out. Just they're like forty uh, saggy balls. Just fucking crispy, <sighs> crispy titted wives. Half hard in the back seat of their very reasonable <laughs> automobile. <laughs> That they bought an Audi. Yeah, they're like, shut up, Deborah. I'm the son of a son of a sailor. <laughs> I'm about to get. Yeah, it's all. This girl did that at a, at a, when I saw it, it is everyone's inclusive like that because I when I saw Queens of the Stone Age at Barclays, I took my buddy who had never seen him and we were leaving and he was like, that was a fucking great show. And this girl's like, yeah, Queens. And she was like all pierced up or whatever. And you're like, yeah, this is my buddy's first show. And she's like, you didn't know about him? And you're like, shut up. <laughs> you don't respect her. You don't really. Yeah, you're not our representative. <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm a secretary at a tattoo shop. Fuck you. There's so many about like, being like a Marilyn Manson. Yeah. Kind of stuff. It's like, yeah, but I, I would never like. Went to a show wearing a latex bodysuit and a Nazi hat. <laughs> and I said it before, I was, as I was telling Fenoy that on his thing, I was like, yeah. I don't have a connection to the fan. I like when someone else is a Manson fan, but yeah. I'm, like, I'm definitely not have a connection where it's like, uh, it's like I know, right? I go in there with a contact lens. And fucking, <laughs> although if society would have allowed, I would have wore the contact lens. You should have. I know. Method I totally Man made have. it look cool in fucking Wu-Tang. He stole from Marilyn Manson, though. He bit off him. Actually, it's not true. That was way before Marilyn Manson. No way. Method Man? False. In the fucking Bring the Pain video? False. Marilyn Manson way before that. Dude, are we about to karate fight in this office? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think we need to bump. By the way, it wasn't in the Bring the Pain video. It was in the You're All I Need Mary J video. I, I stand corrected. Mm. But I feel like he also had... One, he had a contact lens in and bring the pain. That was when they're in the subway, right? Um, no, it's when he's like climbing up like uh, over a roof or something. You're a roof.
<laughs> Real nice. <laughs> Let's bond together to fight these fish heads. Because I guarantee well, they're coming for us. Buddy. You know what fries good over fire? Fish! <laughs> oh, Eva. Wait, did we ever get the story about the girlfriend babysitting? <laughs> oh, dude. Are you- yeah, well. Sorry. So she met him. She met him because she was, uh, he was moving into a house to get away because he used to live in like South Burlington. And, um, he had kids, and he was tired of people sleeping on his lawn, <laughs> so he decided oh, to move. What a Jesus. terrible, what a mean thing to do to someone you like. Hey, thanks Just for making pardon that. Pardon them completely. Thanks for making that album. I'm going to crash out here on your lawn. I hope you don't mow zigzag, or else I'm going to have to get up. Dude, I, I don't possibly get that. I've heard that, like, didn't people used to do, like, Jim Morrison's, like, grave? They yeah, they stay they, there forever. They, they didn't move, move them, it, right? Because people were fucking it up. <laughs> what were they doing to it? I don't know. They're just like putting strong whatever, yeah, writing it's... queef across his face. I love it. it's it's people crayons. people doing that that the person probably wouldn't even like. Oh, I'm certain of it. Like if you're willing to do that to Jim Morrison's grave, he wouldn't want to hang out with you. No, no, no. It's 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 you got to be a little off to be that uh, fanatical. Fanatical, and I don't, talking to you, fish. I, I, I was gonna say uh, I was gonna say Merc face, but I don't mean that. Like few, like I get like. If you dig the thing, and the, here's the reality, you couldn't go to 198 Queens of the Stone Age shows. You want to bet? You, you know, you know, maybe bet, in your bro? lifetime, not in the same Someone amount of time he's gone. Someone get in touch gone. with them, bro. Someone put in touch with them. I will just follow them around. <laughs> Stone 198 shows. I'm like, Soder, do you do comedy anymore? No, gave it up. Uh, <laughs> I am broke. I officially followed <sighs> Queens of the Stone Age around. I walked away from a... Pretty decent yearly earning to uh, <laughs> see a bunch of shows that I probably could have caught like a third of them pretty easy and kept my job. I uh, yeah, I mean like I, I've seen Marilyn Manson twenty times. Okay, I mean that's like a that's, lot. Yeah, that's a lot. I feel like uh, Fish fans, Grateful Dead fans, Pearl Jam fans. Yeah, Lou, Lou, Lou the Bloodhound. How many times have you seen Pearl Jam? Sixty-seven. About sixty. That's 60. I like that he says it like he's in an intercom at a prison. He's letting him know he has to hear, sit here on my microphone. All right, dude. He doesn't want us giving us words for him. He doesn't, don't you talk for me. <laughs> yeah. 60 is what I said. You son of a You bitch. asshole. 60. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The voice of Lou. <laughs> I, um, that's a lot of shows. And you don't get bored ever. No, they're different every time, really. Everyone says that. But every band's different every time. Yeah, because it's a different city. It's a different day. <laughs> I guess so. Oh, I'd like to, uh, wait, did we get the story yet about the girlfriend? <laughs> Dude, I, I apologize. <laughs> Will, you're such a good man. His name's John. Damn it. <laughs> we have treated this guy like horribly. John, I just want to let you, I want to let you know I appreciate you. And I, apo- Thanks, man. And I apologize for cutting off your story. Not even treating oh, you no. Well, man. I love it. We did get the whole story. We did. People were sleeping on his lawn, so they had to move. You know what? That's just the pot talking. (laughs) I forgot we got the whole story. We wigged out there, John. Sorry. You're in Denver. You get it. It's Castle Rock, bro. He's in in a very beautiful area. It's flat, but good view of the mountains. Great view of the mountains. All right. Yep. Why don't you go visit him for the weekend? I don't know. know? Maybe I'll go hang out with him at the Emerald Isle on Parker (laughs) Road. We'll have some beers. We'll get some caviar cones. Yeah, dude. Cav golds. So we want to get some caviar oh, looks at the local right. fucking dispensary, bro. <laughs> John, thanks for calling in, dude. Hey, thank you. See you guys. We got to take a break. Already? Yeah, dude. Holy shit, dude. That was fast. All right, we got some fun phone calls when we come back uh, with some fun shit. So uh, we'll be... Ooh. Well, I'm going to go zone into this shit for the next 45. <laughs> we'll see you guys at 715. <laughs> it's the Four. Ah, oh, Winwood Wednesday. Wednesday. It's Steve Winwood Wednesdays on the Bonfire Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That is my life partner, Big J. Okerson. It's Winwood with the Woodwinds. That was Freedom Overspill. You've never heard that one. I did not know that It one. does sound like the intro of an 80s movie. It does. We're Start we're, it over we're, again. We're the smarmy, uh, the smarmy guy in a, in a slick suit, like, you know, flipping, he, flipping a giant coin. He's a big shot from Chicago, <laughs> but finds out life out west. Is it always sunny? Tony Katane is Jonathan Silverman <laughs> in a new John Hughes movie. John Cusack and Joan Cusack are K 
California high. <laughs> Burp, burp. Oh, oh man, wait, I keep restarting it. Get my dick hard and soft again, dude. You know what I- do you do when a financial advisor finds out his daughter is a rock star? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I wonder if a woman would let you have sex if you put this on and you're like, hey, let me put on some music for you. I'm gonna fucking blow your back out. Are you ready for a little dick overspill? Put your put your hands by your side. I need you to trust me for this. Do I look sexy when I do this? Steve <laughs> 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 dance. A lot of tongue over the bottom teeth. <laughs> it's like uh, Peter Gabriel. Oh, it sounds exactly like Peter Gabriel. Shock the monkey. I want to be. Give me steam. I was really hoping to piss off some fish fans, but you guys seem to be pretty good at just taking the criticism and then. Well, we had some people hang up. There was some pretty interesting uh, fish. Someone said that they went to their farewell show in '04 and it was uh, sucked shit. I believe is what the <laughs> what the <laughs> six said. Whoever invents the term "suck shit" is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that sucked shit. Oh, well, that just sucked a whole mouthful of shit. <laughs> I want a drink, a minute of time. <laughs> that song sucks shit. Dip, dip, dip. Uh, we have Summer in Texas. We're talking about uh, be hot- Jim Morrison's grave. Summer. Are hey, you- guys. Oh, yeah. Hey. I, uh, name, a girl with a name like Summer in Texas. I always just imagine like a, uh, what would be like a hot girl from Dazed and Confused. I grew up uh, with a, and went to school with a girl named Summer. Black girl. Huge barrettes, <laughs> huge barrettes. <laughs> yeah, oh. you know. Uh, I'm not. Ori- uh, I'm not originally from Texas, but oh. no. I'm here Wait. now. Are you black summer with huge barrettes? <laughs> I'm white with huge breasts. <laughs> oh, huge breasts. Well, that just took an awesome. Well, turn. the bonfire SXM at Gmail. If you want to, <laughs> if you're down for some TF, and <laughs> <laughs> as a woman with large breasts, are you okay with the titty fuck? Oh yeah. 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 Are, are you into it? Yeah. Ah, oh, that's a no. Did you did you just get titty fucked? No, it's <laughs> to see? She's just Let breathing. me check. She's just breathing weird. She goes. <laughs> no, I am. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely am. I'm I'm down with pretty much anything. Oh, well, but you I don't mean... love it. What? You don't love getting titty fucked. Uh, it's, it, I don't love it, but it's not bad. Okay. It's almost nothing, right? No, it's, it's, you know, you know, when, when the guy jizzes in your eye, it's not so fun. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm not oh, talking about, but I'm, but you gotta be impressed with the rope. If it's hitting your eye yeah. from the yeah. tits. Yeah. Usually you want a bubbly, a bubbly spring. Yeah. <laughs> that's the term. That's the, the yeah, pearl necklace. Usually it lays so, the pearl necklace. <laughs> if you're getting that kind of distance, you know, you know. Like <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, a titty fuck really does lend itself to a javelin throw of semen. Does it? Or just like, ah! You lay a big rope when you do that. Yeah! Do you think anything is, like, makes that happen or not happen? I don't know. Maybe if you, like, power up, uh, like <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog, you're like, yeah! of B too long. <laughs> do, you, do you hold down B? <laughs> <laughs> get, all, get all the coins. Get all the coins. Bring, bring, bring. Uh, you, have to be, you have to be over a certain age to get that. Yeah. Sonic titty fucker. With tails. Um, so you said the crate. What's the craziest grave? A uh, grave of a music. Well, if you want to call him a musician, his name was G.G. Allen. He was no musician. What was he? I don't know. There's a shithead. I mean, he's a famous idiot, basically. He was a so-called singer of a band called the Scum Fucks. <laughs> Great name. And he was famous Great for taking shits on stage and beating up his audience members. And after he died, he died, of course, of a heroin overdose. Wow. After he died, his mom buried him in New Hampshire, where he was born. And fans from far and wide would come and just take shit and piss all over his grave and take photos of it. You can Google it. It's all over Google Images. I bet the foliage around has grown like a motherfucker. Yeah. We don't know why. That one grave. (laughs) 
It's made its own forest. The lawn is fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Something with a that fertilizer that's been. Like, it's what? They were even messing with it. He was certifiably insane. Like, you could even um, see videos of his funeral, and his uh, fans and family members and bandmates were just messing with his body while it was in the coffin. It was messed up, dude. They were doing what? <laughs> they were. Oh, wow. Look at this. Robin is big. They were grabbing his dick while he was in his coffin. They were putting drugs in his mouth. Yes, can you, um, can you play this, Lou? <laughs> I want to see that happening. You can look yeah, up videos. <sighs> you can see videos of his funeral on YouTube, actually. Yeah, we have them on right now. Yeah, it's this is, from, the this is has... video from Gigi Allen's funeral. Oh, Ew. Wordy guy doing heroin in the water. Yeah, he looks like Jason when he comes back. <laughs> Man! His name was Jason Voorhees. Did he die? And he was my son. Did he die at Camp Crystal Lake? Put on the uh, the no, best of GGL on things. Hear, I want you to hear this guy's. I mean, I mean, very he's very interesting to watch because he's a ridiculous like idiot. It would be weird to be the one reasonable family member of the Allens. I think there's a bunch. I think everybody else. Is hey, how you doing, Troy Allen over here? Uh, <laughs> don't want to touch my cousin because he's a good man. Uh, William, Billy, Billy Allen. Yeah, Bill, uh, Bill Allen. Bill I'm Allen. a real estate agent up in. Uh... Okay. This is the best of GGL. Okay. He's got a point. Oh, when he puts it like that. I think it's nice and refreshing to hear someone with a point. Yeah. Uh, Self-mutilation. What's coprahasia? It sounds like a uh, cologne that I'm what too poor that? to buy. Coprahasia. So, wait, you saw a documentary about this dude? Yeah. I'm fascinated by sick, twisted, fucked up shit. Okay. That's a pretty big red flag. Wait, can we go back to that word again? Coprahasia? That means eating shit. But what a fucking wow. Latin, Latin medical dictionary uh, word for it. Yeah, who, who's the nerd that put this tape together? Coprahasia? All right, fucking. I bet, I, bet it, I bet it was a bitchy chick trying to prove she's smarter than some man. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, he was into coprahasia. And then she looks at you and goes, well, you don't even say anything about it? And she just goes, <sighs> eating shit. Is that what you need, you cave person? For the layman. <laughs> it means eating poop poop. The stuff that comes out of your butt. <laughs> is that better for you to hear? Do you know where your butt is? Summer, we know you're not like that. We're talking about those other bitches. No, yeah. I'm totally not like that. Oh, no, no. We're saying you're awesome. I mean, you're into scary stuff, but you're awesome. Well, scary stuff and titty fucking. I mean, that's not yeah, bad. Yeah, but she also says she's into dark shit, and so it kind of waters down the whole <laughs> tip fuck. She goes, well, I, I stopped burning myself. Burning. She's like, listen, I mean, I like to be slapped around just as much as the next girl. <laughs> uh, you know, you toss in a titty fucking, why not? <laughs> like, oh, I broke up my last boyfriend because you stopped putting cigarettes out on me. Yeah, he's a wuss. <laughs> What a clam. Anytime a guy shows feelings, I'm like, dry up, Bill. <laughs> Anyways, tip fucking's all right, I guess, if you're a real sicko. I like that she's naming oh. all this sick shit, and I'm like, do you like titty fucking? She's like, oh, you got to be a real fucked up guy to like that. You're like, hey. I'm putting the TF I in and some coprahasia. <laughs> coprahasia. We should start a band called coprahasia. We should. I mean, I bet that's done already. I bet if we look that up, it's already been done. Five albums? Five albums of Coprahasia. The last album, The Wipe. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, by the way, it'd be really hilarious if they're, uh, it's like just not the kind of music you're thinking at all. It's like really just sweet, soft sea music. Yeah. <laughs> soft rock. <laughs> Coprahasia. Summer, really? thank you very much for calling in. Thank you, guys. I love you guys. Good you're awesome. Thank you. Good luck with your titty fucking. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Hashtag F those T's. <laughs> F those T's. <laughs> you see this? Coprahasia is indeed a band. Oh, it is. I wonder if they're better than G.G. Allen. Oh, let's put them on the fucking... Let's see it. It's a bonfire test. <laughs> put them over the fire. I always feel like a, a lot of those punk bands in the 80s that would do shit like that, 
You can't do that now. Where they were just—it was almost like Jackass before Jackass. Where like, hey, you just want to beat the shit out of our fans? <laughs> no one's done that yet, dude. This, by the way, I, we haven't heard the music yet, but they. No, go up. They just had a song. It was up there, right there. Let's listen to the album. Um, Post Mortal Copperhage. Oh, that's the band's called Devourment. So that's, no, there's actually a band. Wait, and one of the, oh, okay. There we go. Yes. Copra Asia. It's written exactly how I would guess it would be written. Sounds exactly like I would have guessed. I'm going to guess deep, like, kind of lyrics. No, right? I'm going to go like, yeah, stop, stop. Okay. I got it! Ah, uh, you win. Satan sucks my shit. Everyone knows. Stand on top. Eat it, poop, and eat it, poop. Chew the poop. Chew the poop. What's this I find in your poop? Delicious poop. <laughs> Satan's poop. Eat the corn. Eat the corn. Eat the corn. Eat the Another peanut, another peanut, in your poop. Ow! In your poop. Yeah, they nailed it. Good job, that's, Copa uh, That's Loose Stools by Copernasia. <laughs> 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 Whenever somebody on the street hands me a fucking flyer for to come see bands or whatever, yeah. and and the band's name is written with spikies all over it. Yep, which is, that's what Copra Hages is. Yeah, that's, you just know. By the way, the band that has a song called Copra Hages that we talked for is it's written exactly the same as Copra Hages. From this. the writing that brought you Copra Hages. <laughs> From the font that brought you devourment <laughs> comes Copra Hages. Boo, 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 boo. Sit down, pull down your pants, then you sit down, he comes at your wiener, then you boo. The Latin word for poop is feces. <laughs> you know what I want to see? A rap Copa rock. Asia live. I want to see a rap rock mix of Chet Hayes and Copra Asia. Or Copra Asia. Oh, the Lincoln Park and Jay Z of the fucking early nineties. Yep. <laughs> I would love to see a stretch it out Copra Asia remix. <laughs> People, listen. We need to keep, just get together this material. So when Chet Hayes is found and retort, returned to us. Oh, baby girl, you got to stretch it out. Poop. Stretch out that poop. Uh, I'm sorry. No, you're not. I'm not, though. You're not sorry. You feel great. Oh, God, I feel so good. Uh, yeah, Gigi Allen, for, by all accounts. I always, I'm always poop. fascinated with that shit. When it's like, because uh, when it's someone from like a crazy awesome band like Ginger Baker, and you're like, oh, you're crazy, but then you also made great music. Yes, he did make good music. When the music stinks, you're like, so you just beat your fans up? <laughs> I mean, punk sucks for the most part. They said it, fish fans. <laughs> what does that have to do with fish? I don't know. <laughs> the fish fans have also turned on me for punk. <laughs> I just don't. I mean, by, three but, chords? By you don't like three chords? There's songs I like, for sure. We played punk. Oh, yeah. we play punk in the future. Ooh, there's little, punk coming. Maybe by the end of this, I come full circle and love <laughs> punk. Oh, no. <laughs> we just gave up the storyline. Yeah. You're right, Steve in Texas. <laughs> um, yeah, punk I never really got into. What do? What are you into? Titty just fucking. Queens of Stone Age and titty fucking? And ranch on french fries. <laughs> ranch on my french fries. A nice good tit fucking rewatch WrestleMania 4. I'm going. I'm going down south next. Uh, next this weekend, two days from now. You're gonna be in Nashville there? Zanies. Oh, great! Nashville. Wee! I'm doing the late shows, early shows, Killer Bass. Killer Bass. Save up. Save up. Save up. Nate, one of our good friends, Nate Bargatze, Uh He was supposed to do a promo for Comedy Central. We were trying to make up a catchphrase for him like that. Really? Yeah. His was the one we did. Was I ain't from around here. Was it as a joke, or was it supposed to be a catchphrase? It was supposed to be like, we were supposed to mock that. We weren't that's actually going to give Nate a catchphrase. The South people, that's that save up shirt. I worked with Killer I worked with Killer Bees years ago, and uh, you know he has a whole merch table of save up what beer would, koozies, keychains, shirts. What would yours be? My 
Southern catchphrase? Southern catchphrase. I don't know. Let me think. You got to say, it's got to be something completely nonsensical. <laughs> yeah. But okay. also direct. Box it up. Yeah. But you've already got save up, so you can't bite off that. Mine would be. Why am I save up and then box it up? <laughs> true. All right. Mine would be something like. Because you can't learn that in school. <laughs> <laughs> When you're walking down the street and you see a woman, you <laughs> hang her out her boob, you can't learn that as good. Use a towel, wash a towel. Oh, man, we would be fucking billionaires. <laughs> Turn signal of life. I mean, fold that shirt. <laughs> Peggy! Chase Peggy! He's from Philly. I don't know where this came from. <laughs> it's upsetting. He's making so much money. I mean, is my fly down or what? Oh! Peggy! 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 If a chair's on the door, go around! <laughs> <laughs> All deposits must be done manually after 9 p.m. Yeah. All right. You've been fantastic, Missouri. Salmonella can be lethal. <laughs> I have the reverb. Now we're getting the stadium comedy. We were really finding success with this. <laughs> GPS, my rear. <laughs> Uh, that's you what shut, shut up. up. I'll find it. Peggy! Peggy! Talk about sleeping with your mouth open. <laughs> I don't take my cues from no woman. Hey, all right. I'll be outside signing my CDs. <laughs> Uh, we could have had it all, Jay. We, we would have gone at least on us route. <laughs> Shit. Did we get take a break? That's the ethnicity that stole my bike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> saying some real fucking <laughs> Protestants are gonna burn it. <laughs> <laughs> the left hand is the devil's hand. <laughs> just, a, just a bunch of outdated science. Medgar Evers was a hero. Thank you. A leech can cure a headache. <laughs> Am I paying to cool off the whole neighbor? Close the freaking door. All right. You be paying I'll give you something to cry about. <laughs> Let me just warm up this extension cord. Well, it's like my mammy always said, wash it off. All right. Woo. Meanwhile, you get into a uh, you get into a, a G6 jet called the get it get it washed seven <laughs> wash it off wash it off wash seven. it off seven part of your fleet of jets oh, oh neat dude look at this sean in new haven yo what's up guys love the show thanks brother now uh my band uh opened up for gg allen's band the murder junkies Okay. And uh, the, dr the drummer uh, stuck a drumstick up his ass pretty fucking far man Wait, it like, all right, we know the length of a drumstick. Would you say it was yeah. over half of the drumstick was up his butt? Yes, over half. And Man, what, what, what a size queen. <laughs> He's about a seventy-year-old man, too. Oh, it was probably early on. Said Copraasia. Yeah, he, he was. No, he was trying to start the Copraasia. <laughs> we call yeah, that a Copraasia jump start. <laughs> he threw it on the cigarette machine too, and it sat there for the rest of the show until somebody came over with a bag, picked it up. <laughs> oh, that sucked. You know, it sucked to be the guy at that show. That's like, hey, I'm gonna go get a pack of Camel Lights, and then he throws that drumstick, and you're like, fuck, I bum a cigarette. <laughs> Was it, how was how were they backstage? Were they fun to deal with? Yeah, they were nice, real nice guys, man. I was a little freaked out to play with them from all the stories, but they were actually uh, super nice guys. G.G. Allen uh, himself yeah. was a pretty good dude? What's that? 
Gigi Allen himself was a good dude? No, nah, he was dead. It was his band, his old, his old. Band. Oh, like, oh, oh, oh! I got his you. Brother, yeah, his brother. Uh, dude, now he was there. He was just dead. <laughs> uh, they bring him on tour still. It's pretty fucked up. I mean, you see that, you, that documentary, man. He's punching people in the face. It's amazing. Yeah, it, it looks utterly ridiculous. Are, or are you a punk band? Yeah, yeah. What's your guys' name? Uh, Murder Van. Yeah, Murder Van. Yeah, nice. I grew up with Mike Fanoia. He knows my band. Oh, oh really? You're down with the yeah. Fanoia. Very nice. Yeah. Are you a fish yeah, fan, too? Do you, yeah. How do you feel about fish? I can't stand fish, man. Oh, my God. Well, this is it. We're gonna, I went we're to officially going to try. Yeah, how many shows? I, uh, with my girl took me to a fish show, and I uh, took some uh, K, it was called. Special K? You, oh, ketamine? Yeah. Took some cat yeah. tranquilizer? Yeah, it got me so fucked up, man, and I still I still hated it. <laughs> <laughs> Not even the power of ketamine. <laughs> it still sucks. He's like, I've like, never been more fucked up in my entire life. I swear. Still, through all that, can tell that the music was just garbage. I literally felt like the world was upside down, and I can tell you that that guitar riff went on far too long. He goes out and plays a vacuum, man. I don't get that shit. You guys uh, ever see that? What happened? He comes out and he starts playing like a vacuum or some shit. Dude. Who does? <laughs> dude, dude, I love Andy's face. You can tell he wants he's to. Oh, the vacuum, man. That's no, the best bar. No, no, no. He's getting kind of upset like he wants to explain it, but then he's like, yeah, I mean, then he, yeah, he does, but, you know, it's not the way he's making it sound. Hey, everyone, we'd like to open this one with our brand new hit. Hey, everybody, we're going to uh, take out this rug from my mom's garage and vacuum it. Over on the Dyson 750, that's Jimmy Bones. That's how That's how low fish fans are respected by fish. They just do busy chores in front of them. <laughs> hey, guys, we're going to empty all the garbage from our house and do some dusting. I'm going to take apart and rebuild the drums just for practice. <laughs> oh, guys, there it is. Look, there's video of him playing a fucking... I don't get it. What's he doing? Is he wearing a dress? He's wearing a dress? They don't seem like those kind of rock stars. Anything goes at a fish show. Right, Fuck Andy? Yeah. Anything goes. Fingers and butt. Is it the first time you try some bisexual shit, Andy? He's nodding yes. I, uh, <laughs> there's only two mics in here. In uh, fact, he's <laughs> nodding emphatically yes. <laughs> <laughs> Saying more. He's mouthing the words more. <laughs> Lou, is the first time you made money in a men's bathroom at a Pearl Jam show? He said yes. He said yeah. yes. <laughs> How'd you like to corduroy all over me? Uh, Sean, thanks for calling, buddy. Uh, thanks, man. Great show, guys. Thanks, thanks brother. Sean. Take care. Uh, uh, fuck, man. A vacuum cleaner. Yeah, that's. I'd be offended if I saw someone bring out busy work, a busy work tool. I'm trying to think of a concert I went to. The Smashing Pumpkins are the ones that always, for me, were just like, he comes down, he's like, I don't even give a shit if you like this. I'm going to play tonight, tonight, super fast. <laughs> <laughs> wang, 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 wang. Well, you know what I was laughing at? When we were at Bonnaroo together, I was really excited to see Florence and the Machine, and then I said that mysticism shit does not during work. The day. During the day, that mysticism shit, where you're like, everyone, can you feel your light? And you're like, yeah, it's 3 p.m. I can see every movie. Yeah, movie. I feel the light. It's beating down on my fucking yeah, head and neck. I just got a little, little taste of shade. So I'm going to need you to calm the fuck down. I don't know this song. Christine, step away. It's very hot. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to lift you up on my shoulders. Holy shit. <laughs> Put me on your shoulders, motherfucker. But see, you're, you're the one that always goes to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> see those squats pay off. Should we see if that aerial yoga pays off. <laughs> we got to take, take a break. I'm getting pretty wound up. Uh, Do we have to take a break? See? Oh. Jacob's fucking doing the brake sign at me. I can't see him over my shoulders, just jumping you know, on a chair doing you know, this. Yeah. You know how nervous it makes him when I don't respond to him immediately? Whee! Whee! He's like a new he's like a new mother. <laughs> <laughs> he's constantly worried oh about it. Oh my god. Are you swallowing your own tongue? That's just someone put it put your finger in his mouth. Rub his throat. <laughs> he's gonna die. Oh, you're not gonna die, but just in case I'll check. We'll be back in a few. It's I'm gonna have fun. pants on when we come back. The Bonfire. We'll be right back to The Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh. Keytar. Steve Winwood Wednesdays on The Bonfire. What's up, Burnouts? Okay. Oh, yeah, wow, that's sounds good, too. All out there. Can we call them both campers and burnouts? No. Nope. Or there should be, like, different levels? Yes. Like a black belt. 
The burnouts are when we start to realize there's frequent callers. Yes. Those will be the burnouts. All right. And there's, everyone else is campers. Yeah. So we can say campers and burnouts. So if you're like a, if you're like a, um, I want to say a casual fan, you're a camper. Yeah, I'll be honest, just talking about it, and I think a dildo. <laughs> and I, I do too. But you know what I feel like? One of those big old thick rubber dildos. <laughs> this is a heavy one you could actually stop a crime with. Yeah. Hurt somebody. You could assault someone with the biggest <laughs> dildos we're being. Well, he was holding a gun on me until I bashed his wrist to smithereens with this giant with, dildo. With my Kong dong <laughs> that I keep under my bed. Me and Christine were walking around a dildo shop one time, and uh, I was like, I was pointing out one that was just a crazy huge one. <laughs> and, and, the, and, the, and the girls in the store actually said to me, they go, they go, that's always, that is 100% of the time, dudes' picks. That's like a they guy's pick. They that big of a dick. No, no, no. They're not saying for gay. Yeah, I know. But for their girl? They're saying, like, that's guys want to see that. Like, your girls have no interest in having, like, a, a fucking 13 inch dildo. Yeah, because women are. Like, there's only a. There's, being a size queen's probably got to be a rare thing that girls walk around. Not to. rare in the pigs I mess with. <laughs> 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 These girls were fucking squatting on banisters yeah. before I showed up. <laughs> Like, that's pretty cool. I used to live on the outside of that building. <laughs> like a gargoyle yeah. perched. <laughs> Sorry, I was sitting on a fire plug for a half hour trying to feel something. What's up, Tiny? <laughs> yeah, that, uh, did I ever tell you a story about when me and my friends broke down in Arizona when I was in high school and we went into a sex shop and saw a fake vagina and had the argument of who was going to steal it, who got to use it first? Steal it. We were going to, like, smash and grab. Like, run in and grab it and run out. Really? So we didn't have the money. How old were you? 17. That's a much younger decision, usually. Yeah, I know. Let's steal a fake vagina so we could all fuck it. Like Our car broke down. That's a lot of men coming together to pull off a job that only one person is going to reap the benefits of. You're not going to share it. It's the Ocean's Eleven of plastic pussy. But it's like, we have to get Dan yeah. synthetic laid. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to drop him in through the vents. <laughs> He took two years of gymnastics. <laughs> he could flip up over the couch. Now, Yoshi, we're going to need you to get through this uh, laser security system. <laughs> yeah, my friends were perfect, the perfect group. Then the wild card lost it. You'll take out your pocket mirror and redirect the laser <laughs> to fry the circuits on the board. I'll be in. What happens after we get the pocket pussy? Well, I fuck it, and then any of you gross morons want to come after me. And you guys want to go stir my jizz soup after that? <laughs> By all means, stick your ladle in. Yeah, oil check on my own <laughs> fucking jism. <laughs> Whoa, Dan, you really filled that up, man. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! No wonder you got such a deep voice. That pool's about mid-shaft deep, yeah. brah. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I could pour one out for the homies right now. All the ones who didn't make it. I want to hear... Uh, oh, shit! Jeff in Atlanta! <laughs> <laughs> that was very bright. Hey, what's up, Jeff? Turn on your radio, please. Oh, sorry. I got your speaker. No, it's okay. It sounds like you're being ambushed are you in doing, a war. Are you a man doing dishes, it sounds like? Yeah. Sorry, that was just the saucepan. <laughs> I had to just wash that out before I put it on. She sorry, cooks yeah, that I clean. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds like another one of our catchphrases. She cooks, I clean. <laughs> Go ask your goddamn mother. All right, everyone that's real busy. Got the bumper sticker. <laughs> uh, Jeff, we were talking about awful jam bands. Well, I was just shitting on fish, and I think that was it. String cheese incident, well, here's, obviously. <laughs> here's the thing. Have, have you ever heard of a band called OAR? Yeah, man. I remember I went to college and all these kids from Ohio just shoved it down my throat. Really? Yeah. And, it, and it, I, I, heard, I mean, I've heard of them before. They have that uh, crazy game of poker. Is that the name of the song? Which that you know is how, their most famous song. Yeah. You know how many girls gave hand jobs to that song that didn't want to be giving hand jobs? Oh, I bet they were wearing. <laughs> I bet they were wearing rings made of friendship bracelet though. So it really got a good tug on yeah. your beef. You know how many fresh? You know how many freshman girls in college have jerked dudes off to <laughs> OAR's crazy game of poker? <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, I don't know my major yet, but I'm pretty sick on the acoustic guitar. You have a girl blow you, but she puts her hair back with a tie-dye scrunchie. Yeah. <laughs> she goes, I got to get back. To, Horrible. I got to get up back to the Navajo dorms or whatever <laughs> Indian tribe they've named the college dorm after, like everyone at Arizona. I got to get back to Coronado. <laughs> Beaver Falls Dormitory. I've never given a blowjob, but I really love OAR. That's that kind of music. It's waiting room music. This is what I thought uh, my morning jacket was going to be. And then they were really good. 
But I didn't see them. They're really good. Because I, I still just assumed it was that. <laughs> <laughs> that was ele- it sounds like elevator music. It is probably this- is, essentially. Uh, can you hit number seven for me? What? Number seven. I'm on floor seven. Six. Gotcha. Close the door. Are you an OAR fan of a revolution? Am I OAR? Yeah. No, I'm a... I'm a, I'm a fan of you guys. Oh, all right. Well, Thank that means... Well, you can't be both. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> Jeff, no, the line's been drawn. <laughs> I like that Jeff's made this no, whole I, thing. He's like, it's either you or nobody. Bonfire fuck. No, o- OAR, is, OAR is a mix between good Bob Marley fans and then horrible Fish fans. That, ah. That's... Aunt Merc face Andy I'm just cool. made a face like well, you, are you know, full of shit. Well, you know, uh, uh, Jeff, it's not their fault in... in someone's lifetime you're only able to attend 198 fish shows so you got to fill in the blanks there somewhere yeah with some terrible oar and maybe a grateful dead reunion here and there or sometimes you know a bob marley cover band that you get way <laughs> into or you do a bunch of oxys and go fucking see buffett i guess is that what they do i don't know those people are on pure margaritas you think it was just that it was fucking happy sugar Sugar hammered? Yeah, dude. Come on, Buffett fans aren't on performance enhancing drugs. No, let's not fight That's about just it. booze and and uh, carefree worry. <laughs> He's just carefree living. Can we put that OAR music against elevator music and see if they like, okay? Overlay? Can we see if we can try to guess which one's which? Don't look. Well, no, I was gonna say let's overlay them and see if it sounds right. It matches up and transports us to a fifth dimension. Elevator music instrumental. Okay. You little bossa nova. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This is a St. Jude's commercial there, YouTube. It does sound like a sound check. <laughs> <laughs> so if you mix elevated music and OAR, you actually get fish music. Yeah, we found out the A, plus, a squared plus B squared equals C squared. Right, I'm gonna feel. I'm gonna see if uh, turn on a vacuum. I'm That's if, the missing oh, ingredient. Oh yeah, put, put a vacuum instrument. Uh, Can you put a vacuum? Find a vacuum. If we're making our own jam band here on the bonfire, and then also put yelling hippies. We gotta lay one over the other. Hold on, let me snort this rail of ketamine. We're close to making a fish record. Yeah, and then put on Dave Matthews just vocals. That is it. I bet we can find that. <laughs> yep. All right. Now that's what we need. We need some. Uh... Did you guys hear the bonfires jam? We need, we need some people cheering. And then some, if they have Dave Matthews just doing vocals. This is the show from Banger, Maine. This is where they played for 19 hours. Yeah. I believe this. Yeah. I think we just did it. By the way, I'm still even sort of zoning out like, all right. All right. I kind of see where they take this bridge. <laughs> Okay, all right. Ooh. Oh, we're going to take it. Let's take the vacuum for a walk now. Huh? <laughs> I was just going to say that. Oh, all right. We're, we're going to walk down a little path called A minor. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what kind? Is that it? Hey, Chad, that, great chord progression. Good work on the Eureka. <laughs> is that a Dyson? The Dyson it's like, I feel like it's picking up a lot. We just did it. All right, clear it all. And then play fish. And I bet it's somewhere close to that. We got we got Lou working today. It's a little bit of a harder tune. Well, this is their harsh stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, no, nothing from the metal years. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't want their angsty record. I just imagine him making a face the whole time, like Huey Lewis's guitar player did at us. Mark Face, is it a a thing where uh, going to fish shows is getting laid like a part of that? No. Not at all? No. Jeez. Is there a lot? There's, so there's not a lot of sex? At Jimmy Buffett, you know there's going to be a lot no. of sex. That not night. Sex. Yes. Gross oh, yeah. sex. Just getting fingered by an old man with a Coke nail? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and being like, I'm going to take you off of my cigarette boat when we go down to Fort Myers. 
Not Probably. a lot of sex and not a lot of girls. That ratio is... A lot really? of dudes. Yeah, a lot of dudes. Heavy on the dudes. I thought fish would be I a lot of dudes. Me too. I thought it would be sort of the point. 80-20, like, I think. A lot of great natural tits, but in goofy clothing. Oh, yeah, banana Just those tits. hippie skirts. Just yeah. Those flowy, hippie, flowery tie-dye Those tits nice are just dresses. banana tits. Yeah, just come out and they're like, do you want to see them? I want to see girls. That's why I say it's my, my 70s fantasy, even though it's like a 60s song, is that... You know the instrumental, that song, Time of the Season? Yeah. It's the time of the season. And it's like that crazy like, piano, you know, organ solo. Like, yeah. And just see a, uh, a 70s like naked floppy tit chick with big <laughs> hips dancing to it. Just it's like, like, if you, I just want to get off a time machine and just see that happening on a mountain and be like, oh, yeah, or on a little hill. But, oh, look at that. With Cousin Ed leave. hair? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this song's great. Right here? What an old song to be about fucking prostitution. What? I thought it was about fall. He's trying to pimp the chick. Son of a bitch. Who's your daddy? You ruined the whole song for me. I thought it was a good, feel good hit about the. <laughs> I'm going to do my best. Yeah. <laughs> you can't see us, but we're both doing our. <laughs> we're flowing. We're both doing our little. And all four of our titties are going. Okay, got to hear about this. Pat from Ohio. Pat, you there, buddy? Hello? Patrick. Yes. How are you, buddy? Hey, Pat? Uh, oh. you got to check out Chuck Does Torture by Fish. Just do the album version. It rocks. You'll see. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he called it and goes, yeah. Chuck Does Torture is badass. <laughs> hey, you guys got a spare 19 minutes? You should listen to this song. <laughs> yeah, are the you... live version will be at least 20. Are you a Fish fan? Yes, I am. How many Fish shows have I you am. seen? Oh, I've lost count. Over, uh, probably between 10 and 15. Okay, so you just, I mean. And, and, and being from Montana, that's a trek. That means I've traveled at least to What's the Seattle or the Gorge. Or What's the farthest you've Oregon. traveled to watch fish do a six-hour show? Um, a little bit of Denver. All right. Um, or, I guess, Eugene, Oregon. All right. Not, not too far, but I always make it when they go to the Gorge. It's worth it. Uh, looks like Merkface Andy wants to get into a pissing contest here. Merkface Andy, what's the farthest you've gone for a fish show? Vancouver. From here? Yeah. It's pretty far. You walk? Yeah. <laughs> you should, you should take a caravan, bro. I drive a VW bus you, the whole yeah. way. Do you jog and just jam the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> Keep jogging. Is this yeah, chalk dust torture? Go. Yes. All right. I can get behind this part. No, I'm t- if I went to the concert, I believe I would get into it. I think I, you would. I think fish is also a little heavier than people think. Like, it's not a lot. It's, it is noodling, but that's not the majority of it. No, I'm sure. I'm sure if I went and smoked, we just got. I heard the light shows are awesome. Yeah. I mean, it all. It sounds it's just like, something I've never been into. It sounds like a band I would walk through to get to a band I wanted <laughs> to see at a music festival. <laughs> There's and, no you, and, you'd be, and you'd be listening over your shoulder like, oh, that was too bad. oh, that guy's that guy's good. You guys see that guitarist? He's pretty good. All right. Play. D'Angelo's on the other stage. But in, in defense of that, like that's how I feel about like everyone at Bonnaroo was so like uh, ready to like you know kneel at the dick of that Gary Clark Jr. gun. He's good. He's really amazing guitarist. But I mean, like it didn't make me want to rush out and buy an album. It's cool to watch him live. But I don't give a shit about that. Music. I liked him. I liked him a lot. Yeah, I was I was somewhere in between you and the people that were like, let's just give him keys to the city. <laughs> no shit. I mean, um, very good at the guitar. We talked to Pat in Ohio. I want to hear this. I'm not even going to look at, up at the call screen now. Cool. Pat in Ohio. You there, buddy? Play it dangerous. Hello? Pat, what's up, dude? Hey, what's up? Not too much. I want to hear this story. Okay. Um, one day, I was putting up posters in like my apartment, and I needed a hammer. <laughs> and I knew my, and I knew my roommate had a hammer somewhere in his room. And I go in this closet, and there's this dresser. And then I open up the bottom dresser. There's this fucking, like, two-foot ribbed red dildo. Wow. And I was just like, what the fuck? What? I was like, wait, this is, yeah. <laughs> how big How big actually was it? Was it, like, over, like, six inches? A, a foot to two feet. It was fucking okay. huge. Well, in that case, in, in your roommate's defense, and sounding like someone that it's might novelty. Have, it's a novelty item. It's gotta be. Unless you, unless I, does your roommate sit on a donut when he watches TV? <laughs> well, 
I, he doesn't live here anymore. Does he shit but, really quick? He's like, he died because he ruptured his in, lower intestines by using too big of a dildo. I'm like, ooh, I was wrong. He actually punctured his heart with a dildo. <laughs> yeah, but thanks for bringing it up. Um, I, Yeah, I wouldn't sweat that so much. I don't know. If I, if I had a dildo in my buddy's room, I would assume it was like for his chick or something. Too. Yeah. I'm thinking either, either his chick freaking pussy was so blown out that oh. he had to use that to get her off. Oh, or wow. Oh, man. Oh, he's just feeding it into her like a logger? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Like he's, like he's doing medicine ball throws against yeah. the wall. He's like, ah, I got three. I got 20 of these, three sets of 20. I am. Um, uh, Pat, you never had like sex toys in your room ever for a chick? I used to no. have fucking, I had fucking butt beads and all kinds of shit. You did? Not for myself. Did you have like an assassin? I don't know why I kept them, though, because the thing is, you can't whip out, if you're a dude, a single dude, yeah. and you pull out ass beads, yeah. most girls are going to be like, well, these aren't just for me. I'm not reusing someone else's ass beads. Yeah. And then I and then I go, oh, yeah, I guess that makes good sense. I wash them pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's like getting the keys to the gas station bathroom. Also, any fork. guy at that moment, the girl goes, would you believe, uh, goes, did you uh, boil these? And you go, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> so Why is there a uh, plastic spoon tied to it so you don't steal it? <laughs> you need to make sure you're going to bring back those ass beads. If I'm going to rip them out of you, I want to make sure. It's a cinder block attached to the ass beads. <laughs> Are you gas station keyed me? Oh, oh. shit. Yeah, I, uh, I've never owned a sex toy for a girl, but I get it. Never. Have you ever used with a chick? Yeah. W what? Coke? Like, yeah. what was it? You ever use with your girl? Uh, H, one time was shot, you tied up were... and pushed off. <laughs> Fucking it's stratosphere. One time I came and then I saw God. I'm not, I don't want to use her real name, but I'm just going to call her Miss, Mr. Brownstone. <laughs> <laughs> Make me feel all right. Uh, I am. Um, oh, it's what? pronounced Bangor, not Bangor. Bangor. Okay. Who's Chelsea? Chelsea in Maine. What did we say? Banger Maine? I said it wrong. Said banger, man. That means she likes you, dude. She's calling to correct you simply because Dang she's into you. Chelsea, you're into Dan, yeah? Hey, can you guys hear me? Yeah. I did not realize that when I call, I can listen to you guys. So now every time I leave my car and your show's on, I'm just going to call like I have something to say so I can listen to you. Oh, you're going to become a burnout. Like, oh. yeah. You, yeah, you keep that up. You'll top class burnout. You're gonna be you're gonna be our VIP club called Burnout. <laughs> right now you're a camper, but you're you're leading towards burnout. VIP <laughs> members get benefits, including you can go to the Series XM Lounge anytime you like. Boom! Free pretzels when you listen to an episode. I don't know. Squatty potty live reads in person. <laughs> Well, pretty sure I was conceived at a fish concert. I live here in Bangor, Maine. Oh, our everybody says Bangor. No idea why. Um, I have a sister named Breezy Spirit, so wait, 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 fish. Wait, what's your, they ruined my life. What's your sister? Wow, name? She's a Breezy fish. Spirit. Breezy Spirit. Breezy? That's her like legal name. Is Breezy, Breezy Spirit? Yeah. Oh God. Yep. My oh. parents like drive to limestone to see fish whenever they were there and. How old was she when she ran away the first time? Yeah. Out. Oh, my God. So she probably just hate. I mean, so you hate fish. She's an alcoholic now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, your name's Breezy Spirit. Finally. You can't really be tight-lipped. <laughs> or her name's not like Dark right? Heart. <laughs> yeah. Her name's a Dark Heart. Yeah, her name's not Reasonable Night. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm going to have an early dinner, probably tuck in. Breezy Spirit is oddly rigid. <laughs> <laughs> Very. She has a, uh, she's got a schedule she follows almost <laughs> to the T. She's the only person I know who actually does a to do list and then does it all. Pays her taxes quarterly. <laughs> you know how ahead of the ball you got to be on that one? Oh. Uh, I well, think, thank I, you. Well, I think Chelsea's into you. I, I mean that. Chelsea, I appreciate it. And I think she, okay, I, I love you guys. I love listening to you. I, I like seriously program you into my schedule on my iPhone. So. Oh, thank oh, you. Chelsea, thank you so much. Take naked pictures of him to the, uh, the bonfire SX7. <laughs> or you Why can... do we have this Gmail? If not for the... By the way, fellas, you can send dick pics too. Just send whatever. Oh, get some hogs. Yeah, just a bunch of pieces. I want to see some TFNs. <laughs> I want to bring them together for some TFNs. Chelsea, thanks for calling. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, Chelsea. <laughs> Bye-bye. Uh, Brant. Brant, PA. Pennsylvania. What's up, What's up, dude? 
Uh, big fan of you guys. I uh, love the show. Uh, Jay, love the crowd work sessions as well. Oh, yeah, you, great uh, album. Go download it on iTunes. Jay Oakers in the crowd work sessions. Thanks, dudes. I just wanted to say uh, that zombie song you were just playing, Time of the Season, uh-huh. possibly the only song that can successfully pull off two substantial organ solos in one song. Yeah. Oh, I mean... <clears throat> by it's, the a, it's, second, a, it's a flawless song. By the second one, you're begging for the you're begging for the second organ solo. Nice. But then also, also, I wanted to comment and say I am a huge fan of the name Campers. You like, the, you like uh, Campers over Burnouts? Now, what do you think about our two, what do you think about our two tiered system? I, I dig that. Um, that means no. That I means no. That don't almost, don't <laughs> lie to me. I heard it in your voice. I know you don't well, like it. It's almost insulting to the people who are like like digging on the show every like like myself. I wake with come on every Monday and Wednesday. So it's true. He might have, he might be able to call him. a lot. You might not be able to call. A lot. You know what, dude? I think you really made me see the way. And with the zombies playing in the background, I feel like it's the time of the season for us. <laughs> To just officially name our Who's fans, I think we're going campers. We're going campers. Hey, campers, campers. I'm glad I could weigh in. God, your girlfriend, campers. Yeah, I'm going with campers. Always what are you? campers, Jacob. Uh, yeah, I love campers. campers. You like campers? Yeah. Jacob, <laughs> stop binging. <laughs> campers. Christine does not like campers. You like the you like the tier system. Tiny Sam, you like campers? She likes burnouts. She likes oh. burnouts. Room got divided. Rosa Parkinus. Fuck. You know what I'm going to say? We'll decide later. Let's take a break. <laughs> You're listening to Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. Right back into it. Win with Wednesday. It's the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. It's feel good tunes, really. That's Jay Okerson. I'm Dan Soder. The number 844-COMEDY-9. 844-266-3399 if you're bad turning numbers into letters. <laughs> <laughs> if you've never learned to read. I am so excited to go home and download Steve Winwood because of today's episode. You guys might so find a topic we meant to talk about a long time ago we never got to. It's what? Illiterate adults. Yeah, how 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 still a thing. How is that even fucking possible in the world anymore? It's a thing, and they're very mean on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> they make no sense. That's what I know. Yarga blim gab ah, bunch of R's, <laughs> S's to let them know I'm evil. These letters look like my emotions. Ah, pow, pow, pow. X X X X exclamation. If you're illiterate, please call in. <laughs> And if you're illiterate, that number is 844-266-3399. And if you really like a challenge, it's 844-COMEDY-9. Figure it out. <laughs> it's your Da Vinci Just Code. Fucking hunting and pecking on nine <laughs> buttons. <laughs> There's only 300,000 possibilities. I'll start at 111. 111. 2111. Yeah. Um... Yeah, that's, I mean, how's that possible? I don't know. That's a very deep topic to bring up in the very end of the show. Wait, 17 minutes, bro. <laughs> Let's break down adult illiteracy. I, I'll be honest. I think 17 minutes is more than enough time to solve illiteracy in this country. <laughs> <laughs> Politicians, take note. Call in, dimwits. I'll fix you up. <laughs> yeah, Put bunch. it together, man. TH. Th. Yeah. Work on that today. Call th- tomorrow. T- 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 today, Junior. <laughs> <laughs> you start being fucking mean to him. I before E except after C, you dipshit. I bet there's functioning illiterates. How? What do you, how? How do you function? How do you bullshit around words? I mean, how? I don't know. You want to read this and sign this? I'll just sign <laughs> it. It reminds me, again... I you got up, a good soul, kid. Yeah, that's how Barry Gordy got most of his clients. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to read. All right. I want to know what adult illiteracy is. Lou Dog. Yeah. Go hunt. Go hunt down some stats. Go find... Get the scent, boy. Get adult the scent. Adult illiteracy. What's adult illiteracy in the United States? I could throw out what's a soda the, fact. What's the number? Do you want the soda fact? The percentage? Yeah, you want soda fact? You want to take a guess? No, it's just, it's just a soda fact. I'll sure, just say you it learned like, how to read five years ago. I'm illiterate. 4.5% <laughs> of adults in the United States. That's what you're saying? 
That's a soda fact. I'll say... If you go under me, you're such a dick. I'm not. I'm going to say one person. I'm Price is Right betting it. You bet. I'm going to go with just one person. <laughs> ah, I'm Tom. <laughs> well, 1.6 people. So, Jay, you're closest. Yeah, you win. Yeah, you're going. You're going for a new guy. What is a sorority video of a girl? What is there? Just a girl feeding kids on her tits. That's great. Oh, was it two kids? It's called breastfeeding. <laughs> yeah, Jay, it's a, uh, it's something called breastfeeding. Are you guys familiar with this? Uh, apparently, humans. Thirty-two million adults in the U.S. can't read. Wow. Wow. It says read below a fifth grade level. Well, I and mean, nineteen percent of high school graduates can't read. That's one in crazy. five. What, what is that? One in five people. Oh my! One God. in five high school graduates can't read. No, is that what it properly? Is? Again, you're looking at the internet. I am looking at your face of stunned. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, I mean, that's 70% of inmates cannot read above a fourth grade level. <laughs> that is funny when they really break these like animals of just like, you know, <laughs> multiple murders, like hardcore working out. Yeah. Got brands on their face and tattoos on their face. And, a, and they seem going like. Mm -hmm. What are you in here for? Today, Junior! <laughs> what are you in here for? I killed an entire family. Why? They're noisy. <laughs> Can you read this chapter from Thomas the Train? Rather not. <laughs> it, Thomas. It was a Do <laughs> You can do this skull. Train. <laughs> I learned how to clean blood off a mattress. <laughs> Nine years old and I can't. My daddy murdered my mother right in front of me. I was reading. See if I can spell this now. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> call, call me a hab. <laughs> a hab. Hey. Is that a name? Oh, I'm gonna kill someone. <laughs> uh, this is stupid, uh, Warden. I hate this you. is and, my, and by the way, my fictitious land. The Warden's a nice guy who tries to teach his inmates yeah. to read. Come on, guys. This is a book called Travels with Charlie. <laughs> it's about a man and his dog going through New England. Now, uh, oh, by the way, he's like T Bone don't like to read. He goes now Cecil, like he knows his <laughs> real name. Cecil, Cecil, Cecil wants to read. Last time I checked on the inside. You told me you wanted to read. Hi, I'm the warden. I don't know. I, I always wanted to, I guess, but... Don't you want to get away? I just escape? Get, I just get frustrated. You gotta let your imagination grow, Cecil. Come with me, and you'll see. <laughs> your imagination. Reading can take you anywhere. <laughs> reading Rainbow. They should do Reading Rainbow in a scared straight <laughs> crossover. <laughs> Which is prisoners. That would be fucking fantastic. <laughs> prisoners learning the joy of reading. <laughs> A reading rainbow. I, you know, I was pretty sure I was institutionalized when I got released. <laughs> then I got into a little thing called reading. Just cut to uh, LeVar Burton getting plowed out by three guys. <laughs> I'm fucking Jordy LaForge. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you wish you could warp speed out of this. <laughs> oh, where's Worf? I'm Worf. Just a hardened tattoo forearm pressed down on the back of his neck. <laughs> While he's wearing a banana clip across his eyes. <laughs> the shittiest fucking prop in everything. Uh, but I won that I wanted so bad. Bad. You didn't want that? What? You, that cool thing that the Jordy LaForge thing? Yeah, Jordy LaForge. No, I like when he took it off and he, his eyes were all whited out. Like Method Man in Bring the Pain. It all comes full circle. Bring the Pain, which came out after Marilyn Manson. Just throw my microphone at you. Yeah. <laughs> we never got the facts on that. That's crazy. Has anyone called in and say they can't read? <laughs> 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 shit. Oh, we have Jeff in Ontario. Ontario, he's calling the shit on Americans. I feel it. Jeff, what's up, buddy? Hey. What's up, guys? You guys are hilarious, by the way. Thank, Thank you, man. Yeah, uh, I just wanted to say the amount of people that can't read in the States is the same as our whole population in Canada. Well, that's why you're lesser than us, because you represent our population that cannot read. We have an entire whole other population that's smarter, faster, bigger. You may have hockey, but we got reading. We've got literature. A whole, yeah, that is what your entire population is, 37 and a half million people. 
Roughly around that, yeah. No wonder you guys are so relaxed. You got all that stretching space. It's mellow. Like, yeah, right, bud. Except when you get over to Windsor, it gets a little sketchy. Yeah. North Detroit. Oh, yeah. North Detroit. <laughs> North D-Town. <sighs> Windsor. Yeah. The armpit of Canada. Is that what's, it, what's, like, what's the city you guys shit on the most? Like, Windsor. Would, probably Windsor, right? Is it Windsor? Is that who you oh, guys? Oh, Windsor, for sure. That's who you guys make fun of the Absolutely. most? Absolutely. But that's more of like it's your, the armpit that, of that's Canada. Your, but that's your ghetto. What's uh? What's Canada's like hillbillies? What's what's Canada? Nova Scotia, Saskatoon, shit like that? Yeah, like what's uh, Newfoundland, Newfoundland, New Newfoundland. <laughs> what? Yeah, Newfin Glory. <laughs> that's your guys' Nebraska. I'd say so. Yeah. Okay. Just yeah. West Virginia cousin fucking shit. Oh, good call. What's their West Virginia? What's it? <laughs> He's just polite. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to drive. Oh, no one fucks because of here, eh? <laughs> oh, come on, bud. <laughs> Everyone knows that's not what you do. <laughs> that's not what you do. No, not in Canada. Not in Canada. <laughs> Jeff, thanks for calling, buddy. <laughs> yeah, man. Thanks, Pete. Have a good one, Bye, dude. Guy. Bye, guy. <laughs> Aaron in Ann Arbor. Oh, there's a new South Park tonight. I forgot hey, to DVR it. Aaron in Ann Arbor, you Hello. there? Hey, hi. That's me, yes. Hey, Aaron. Hi, hey, Aaron. Yeah, I I grew up in, like, Podunk area of Michigan, okay. and the illiteracy rate was, was you know, there's a lot of corn. Okay. You're going to have a lot of literacy. And the one person that I did know that was not able to read at, like, 17 or 18 tried to stab me. Oh, okay. Because you could he read? He didn't like the clothes I was wearing. He didn't like, see that, because he gets confused by flashy things like words and patterns that strike saying. his eye different. That's what happened. He goes, well, I was wearing a shirt that was covered in words. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it was, yeah, I had a riddle on my chest. It really infuriated him. How did he try he to stab you? He had this huge truck. Well, he had this huge truck that he, and I was a freshman in high school, so I didn't know how to drive. He okay. had this huge truck, and he'd just follow us around. My my friends and I, he he would get out with like a pocket knife. It was a not, not much stabbing you can do, but to a freshman in high school, that's that's pretty fucking yeah, scary. Well, he's so, about to whittle you. <laughs> I'm gonna turn yeah, you into an eagle's claw. So wait, he would just follow. He was you? doing like chewing tobacco and sorry, go ahead. Oh no, you're saying he had chewing tobacco. He'd just follow you around. Yeah, chewing tobacco would follow us around, and uh, yeah, that was it. I think I think that illiteracy correlates highly with wanting to cut something. Yeah, because you can't escape in your mind through the gift of words. See, I don't think it's because you can't read for pleasure. I don't read for pleasure, but it's the fact that you can't look around a space and, like, follow any sort of instruction of some sort. The only reason he could drive was because the, the driving instructors read him the, the test. Oh. Which I don't know if that's legal because you can't read a stop sign. I think that's highly <laughs> illegal. That sign's, everyone's stopping at that sign. Yo, uh, where's the bathroom? He goes, look at the sign. You know I can't read. He goes, it's an arrow. Yeah, it's, it's just an arrow. It's a person in a dress. Do you wear a dress? Sometimes. Oh, there's one out there. All right. Murkface Andy's having a fucking casual conversation. Right next to Jay's head. He's falling in love. He's like, yeah, no, that song is my favorite fish song. Well, dude, thanks for calling in. Thanks for calling, Aaron. Uh, and I, that is, uh, there is, there is a correlation between, like, illiteracy you know, and crime. Yeah. Well, but the, I don't, the, cor the correlation is, I think the correlation is so much more than just illiteracy and, I don't and think, criminal. I don't it's think like, illiteracy causes crime. It's like, well, I'm saying, like, yeah, it's like, exactly, but like, you know, Words moron, morons and like, you know, it sounds like a shitty PSA. Fucking, you know, Slack jaws are violent people. <laughs> Words. I don't know if that's right. Um, how about this? Nick in Ohio has a doozer uh, for us. Nick, you there? What? Nick, uh, you there, buddy? Wow. Yeah. Hey, Nick. Nick in Ohio. Uh, what's going on, buddy? Okay. Nick, I get it. You're mad. Uh, he called and said he, he said he couldn't read a 23. I think... You probably thought we were going to be sensitive to it. And then we heard us going like, you dumb slack jaw. Nick, you're a retard. What's up? <laughs> I, that's not what I meant, Nick. I'm sorry if you got upset. I would have loved to hear your story about not not reading. I thought I was, I was excited. I was going to be the only person that called who said they actually can't read. Well, if you can't get a story about not knowing how to read, we got Ben in Kansas. Ben, you hey, there? What's up? What's up? Sure Keep, am. What's sorry, we, got, we just got hung up on by some asshole. Turns out people who can't read, super arrogant. Also couldn't hear. 
Also, uh, <laughs> very impatient. No uh, shit. <laughs> what's up, Ben? Uh, got a story of was about 10, 11, and my friends stay over for the night. You know them old metal bunk beds? Yes, I do. I fell off one of them. He was sleeping in the top bunk. He fell off, too, but uh, his sack got caught on the way down. How? And uh, How? you ever hear a, a rabbit squeal? Yeah. yeah. I mean, no, uh, I never heard a rabbit squeal. Real quick. Fatal attraction, no. dude. Oh, yes. I have heard a rabbit squeal. Yes. That's what he sounded like? Horrible sound. Yeah, for like two minutes straight. And his nut was hanging out the oh. sack. They had to take him to the hospital and sew him oh, back up. Oh, the nut was hanging out? What did it look like? Yeah. Oh, I oh, God, I don't know. Like a eyeball? I don't know. It's okay. disgusting. Lou, look up scrotum injuries. <laughs> no, don't, dude. This is why I'm so glad I'm sitting under the TV and I don't have to look up. Wait, real quick. I'll what, describe it very graphically did, for you. What did he catch his nuts? Or what did he catch his scrotum on? Like the ladder to go up the bed? Uh, one of the little nut or bolts oh, sticking out to bolt the damn bed no. together. Out of the side yeah. of the bed? That's why you got to use Allen yeah. wrench screws, man. They don't come out. Yeah, you got to get that shit flat. Oh, oh my Christ. Is he and it ripped open, and his nut was hanging out. How old was he? Uh, he was about 10, and we were, this was like 2 in the morning. My mom had to take him to the ER. Oh, it was horrible. Uh, Do you right. have kids and all that shit still? Uh, I think that's why he became an alcoholic. Oh. So you could have kids? <laughs> no. So you could hook up with chicks and have a kid? <laughs> so he became looser socially and, <laughs> and met women? Oh, no. no. So this guy's got a drinking problem now? Yeah. We got to help I this. I would do. He's we a got... genuine sad sack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got to help. Oh, oh, if we... I had that happen, I would have the doctor put a zipper back in so I could so always funny. open him up. Keep, and you could keep change in there. <laughs> you, know what, you know where I'm going to put my laundry receipt? Where I won't lose it. Oh, no ticky, no washy. You got to yeah. hang on to that. Yeah. Dude, I uh, let's get this guy help. Let's help out this Frankenstein nut freak. Yeah, let's get him off the sauce or something. Dude, let's get him into a program. At least ice up those nuts. Oh, man, can you imagine? No. Uh, Lou, can we get pictures of uh, ripped scrotums? Lou, I would never do this to you. I want you to know that. Because I feel like it's going to, there are, the room is mostly men. Mm -hmm. So I feel like there's going to be. Well, we only have three minutes left, so I mean, might as well use it right. <laughs> To look at rip nuts. Oh, Merc face Andy. Which, by the way, he re he re never reacts like that to anything. <laughs> we're, we're talking about. No, I don't know if I want go. Ah, dude, do dude, it. Jacob's do it. got it over your shoulder. <laughs> oh, oh God, go ahead, put it on. I'm ready. Fuck. I'm asshole. ready. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's you go. Ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wait. Uh, I don't see any. Uh, Yeesh. Uh, uh, oh. no. Wait, 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 go up. Who's the guy in the underwear? Down. Boom. <laughs> yeah, dude, look over at Jacobs. He binged it. So he oh, got no. We are a fucking commercial for Bing at this point. No, we're not, because I don't use it. It's useless, unless you want awesome porn videos. That's not useless, buddy. That's very useful. You're right. I really. What did you look up, Jacob? That we're not seeing over here. Rip testicles. Why would you do oh, that? Oh God, that's what. Oh, that was ah, the answer. That was shit. the answer. Oh my God, is that woman holding a handful ah, of nuts? Ah! <laughs> Go all the way over ah, the right. What is a, that? What is that? A handful of balls. Oh! They're like little tiny beans. Like oh. I, they're like pinto beans. Is that what they look like? Is that what causes all this trouble? Oh, <laughs> is, is that where war comes from? <laughs> is, is pinto beans? <laughs> is that what it all boils? A handful of kidney beans. That's everything. That's World War II. That's, <laughs> that's ISIS. So, oh, 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 oh. oh, that one's got teeth. <laughs> Sorry, man. This Google is not coming up. Wasn't uh, a picture of, like Tanya Harding? Just a cater fight. Just a gator with a mouthful of meat. Jesus Christ, that's horrible. Oh, that's tough dude. to look at. Not that the gator thing's fine. I love gators. Holy who. Oh, well, Ben, thank you for uh, calling in and creating a chain reaction of what can only be described as something I will never forget. Oh, my Bocce God. Bocce boss! Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you, guys. You guys are hilarious, man. Oh, thanks, dude. Thank you for calling in. Oh. Yep. Have a good one. You too. We got to go, Jay. This is our last live show for two weeks.
Ooh. We got two weeks. We got uh We're gonna put together an awesome best of. Yeah, next week's gonna be Oh, uh, we should say the team. The team that's really that's team. Jacob that's a Lou, Lou Jacob, Murkface. Mark Face and you're gonna do an awesome uh So what we're doing is next Monday and Wednesday, new episodes just not live, and then the week after that, best ofs. And after that we come back live, and the week after that we're gonna be doing live from Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Uh at Big J Okerson on Twitter. At Dan Soder on Twitter. I'll be at the Sacramento Punchline Thursday through Saturday. Then the San Francisco Punchline next week. Then laugh, Boston. Go to DanSoder.com. Laugh. I saw I showed you there plugging that at Oddball. Yeah. I'll be in Nashville. Late shows Friday and Saturday uh, coming up. And Oddball? after that, back, well, I go motorboat cruise. You got your web series, bro. Uh, oh, yes. Holy shit. I'm a dildo. You're welcome, You're welcome for that. Uh, ComedyCentral.com. A uh, new web series, uh, Lucky Loser of Big J, where I tag along on people's dates and it's said it's pretty funny. It's short, this shit does six get, minutes, really, really funny, really fun to do. This thing doesn't get taken as serious. I don't know what to believe. I want that Big J Okerson. I want that. Uh, I want you being. I want you big time in me. No, I won't. Never, buddy. I well, love you. I want a writer that says you only eat green M and M's. I mean, you got some cool stuff coming. We got the L A trip. We're doing it at midnight. I think. Yeah. Together, like yeah. a fan. Yeah. Like a family. Goodbye, um, campers. Good night, burnouts. Ah, oh, there it is. We'll see you later. The Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. Bye!